Oh, hello. Come on in. We, uh, we were expecting you. Welcome to a typically British homestead. My name is Jeff Rogers. I'm a writer, and I live with the Larkins. Let's face it, I'm a part of the Larkins. Yes, I'm a, I'm a vital cog in the great Larkins machine. Well, I'm a cog. I married its daughter. It was a case of G.I. meets girl. Only the novel twist was that after the wedding, she brought me home. <laughs> All right. So I'm a G.I. bridegroom. Any questions? No, but all kidding aside, the gag books are dead wrong. I have the finest bunch of in-laws a guy could possibly wish for. <laughs> My ma-in-law, for instance. What a character. Warm, human, understanding, heart of gold, and a voice... I'll have you now, I do not go for the sake of <laughs> And now, if you can't do a simple little job like that, just let me know and I'll get a man. And a voice. <laughs> the silent member of that duet was my father-in-law. Now, I don't want you to get the impression they always quarrel like that. Oh, no. Jeff! Sometimes it's louder. <laughs> Meet the wife. You're talking to yourself. I sincerely hope not. Jeff, there's a crisis. Naturally. It's mom and dad. It always is. Oh, Jeff, don't. I haven't seen you in all of ten minutes. How's about a little kiss, huh? Can't you ever forget you were a G.I.? In the best years of my wife. <laughs> You've got no time for that. We want a strong, active young man, but you're doing All right, what's wrong? It's your father-in-law. He's up in the air again. Okay, tell him I'll be right out. Well, what am I, a monument? I don't know, but I hope for your sake the pigeons are locked up. <laughs> I can't take my hat off to you, I really do. There's nobody else I know could make a full-scale drama out of climbing up a stepladder. Now look here, Ada. Oh, do come down for heaven's sake. You look like Lester Piggott. Start cold, get down, the leather cords broke. If I make one fashion move, it's me lot. Oh, well, if you're going to make a career out of it. Ida, 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 you leave me at your peril. It's your fault I'm stuck up here like a, like a, like a statue of Julius Caesar. Well, don't look now that your toe gets slipping. Oh, Jeff. Jeff! Jeff! <laughs> Hi, up. Another comic. Jeff, will you do your old poor-in-law a favor? Sure, Pa. What is it? Get me down. <laughs> okay, but what gives? Go! That ladder. Any minute. Oh, I see what it is. The ladder cord's broken. We got a genius in the family. <laughs> Don't do that! Oh, do get him down. We shall be here all day. What are you looking for? A piece of cord about so long. Here's a bit. Oh, no, uh, not that. You don't have to bother, he's down now. Are you all right? Do I look all right? Well, you looked like that before you went up. Now, come on. No, I just have to go and lie down. Well, you are lying down now. Come on, let's have some cooperation. I've just thought of something. What? We could have held the ladder while he climbed down. <laughs> oh, down his own way. Now, come on, let's get this banner up. A banner? <laughs> what is it, Father's Day or something? Father's Day? Do you mean to say you've forgotten what today is? Oh, no. No. You have forgotten, haven't you? Well, of course not. It's, um, don't tell me. It's just here. Um, it's Eddie. Eddie. It's, it's Eddie. Oh, it's, it's Eddie. What about Eddie? Well, everybody knows that. He's, um... He's coming out. He's coming home. <laughs> if you're taking up ventriloquism, let me give you a word of advice. You have to keep your mouth shut. <laughs> Jeff Rogers, I'm surprised at you. Your own brother-in-law coming home on Dean, I believe, and you forgot. Well, of course I knew I Just keep it as a surprise. Who for? Well, there must be somebody who doesn't know. I don't think so. You're the last. Now, come on, let's get this banner up. Banner? A banner with Welcome Home Eddie on it. Do you be grudging that? He knows he's welcome. Oh, he knows he's welcome, all right. Well, you wouldn't even hold your hand out. Well, let me tell you, I'm proud of my son. And if I had my way, that welcome would be up there in neon light. Ada. You don't seem to realize what it's been like for Eddie. Ada. Serving his country in the face of danger and hardship. Ada. And for too long years, he's been sweating and stogging and risking his life to protect the rights of you. Ada, don't you think you're getting this a little bit out of proportion? All right. Eddie's finished his national service. Go on. Two years at the war office. Go on. And he's still home every weekend. 
That's right, throw cold water over it. It's like everything else I do, isn't it? Well, let me tell you. Eddie is entitled to his own coming and he's going to get it. That banner goes up or I'm going to know the reason why. Well, the banner can't go up because the ladder's broke. So, Sister Ada, you can carry the banner. You get in difficult. How uh, can the banner go up without a ladder? What do you want me to do, sprout wings? You're going the right way to get them. It's all right, Pop. I'll fix that ladder up in no time. Whose side are you on? Thank you, Jeff, if you will be so kind. And Sir Edmund Hillary here can do the rest. And don't take all day. You can fix the ladder. Myrtle? Did, did you think you remember me? Oh, Eddie, why not? Oh, the army changes a man. It'll take more than the army to change our Eddie. Oh, it's all right for you. You're his sister, and I... And you? I'm just the girl next door. Well, that's a pretty sound formula. What are you worrying about? Well, it only happens in books, do It happens all the time. Boy meets girl next door, boy finds Finn. Oh, he did that once, you know. Oh, it was years ago. We were just kids. But he climbed the fence. He wanted his ball back. Oh, well. But you've been out with it. Oh, yes. Oh, I shall never forget that last time. It's all so vivid. It, it could have been last week. It was last week. It was just the two of us. We seemed cut off from the rest of the world in a sort of a, a wonderful, magical silence. Where was this? The British Museum. That's what I like about Eddie. Only the best. It's like talking to a brick wall, but this is the end. I'm finished, am I, Myrtle? Well, finished? Who? Who oh, the baker? I told him distinctly, four large today, and look what he leaves oh. me. It's not as if he didn't know we were having a party. I said to him, Mr. Randall, I said, we're having a little do for Eddie. Well, perhaps that's... Four that's... dozen of salted sandwiches. Who does he think I am? Channing Pollock. <laughs> How's your mother, love? Oh, she said... Oh, you better nip up the road and get some more bread. All right. What were you saying? Oh, she said... Oh, and don't go to Randall's. Get to the other place. All right. And come back past Randall's waving it. Oh, I'll just wave it in the young What was that you were saying about your mother? Oh, she said, could you let her have a quart of tea till she can get out? <coughs> Thanks. That's all right. It's the fourth this week. Well, it's until she can get out. What is she, bedridden? <laughs> Sure you're all right for sugar and milk? Oh, yes. Good. Well, I, I suppose I'd better be going now. No, Myrtle, if you're going, go. If you're staying, stay. But don't over. I can't stand over it. <laughs> well, I... Oh, Myrtle, do sit down. You're not a helicopter. Well, Mrs. Larkins, I was going to... I, I was going to... Well, I spit it out. <laughs> Well, what were you going to say? Don't tell me you were sitting there learning how to make cake. Oh, no. No. I, I hear Eddie's coming home. Yes, that's right. Oh, you must be very happy. He's making preparations and killing the fatted car. He'll have ham and like it. <laughs> Is it going to be a big party? It's getting smaller every minute. <laughs> Isn't that your mother calling? Oh, yes. Well, I hope everything goes off all right. I expect it will. Come about half past four. Oh, oh thanks. Thanks. <laughs> thanks. Oi. Lovely, isn't it? I'm all for a bit of arse decoration, but this is ridiculous. <coughs> What's that? I said, I think it looks very artistic. Yeah, I don't like it myself. <laughs> oh, don't get me wrong, I mean, I've, I've got nothing against Eddie. I'm very glad he's coming home, I think. But banners, so oh, I never had none of this when I come out of the army. Welcome home, Eddie. I mean, it's not as I could read. 
<laughs> Come on now, Pop. I oh, know, again, I thought of the blood and thunders and the, the, cr the crying news. You know, I thought that the army would knock a bit of sense into him, but I don't know. Hello? It reads, Welcome Home, Eddie. Oh, yes, very nice, very nice indeed. Don't you think? Yeah, if you like that kind of thing. Perhaps just a little bit higher on the right? No, no, leave it, leave it. Yes, I will. Yes, on the whole, I think you've done the justice. We've done you... Yes, I mean, it's perfectly balanced. It has just the right contrast of light and shade. It conveys its message clearly. Oh, yes, I'm quite satisfied with it. You're what? Oh, you mean it was you that turned it? Yes, of course. Just a little thing I dashed off. Oh, so you're the banner maker, are you? <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. It was very nice of you to have taken the trouble. Oh, not at all. After all, I was commissioned by Mrs. Larkin. Ah, uh, very... Commissioned? Naturally. And if I may say so, there you have real value for money. How uh, much money? Well, really, after all, it was Mrs. Larkin. Oh, I'm Mr. Larkins. How much money? Three guineas. Three guineas? For that? I was commissioned. Three guineas? Oh, oh we, uh, we should have paid the few extra bob and had him done by this new girl, Annie Goney. I don't think I like your tone, sir. And I shall send my bill to Mrs. Larkins. Good day. Yeah, you do that, mate. Oh, three guineas. What a shit thing. And I'm made of it. I bought a perishing stupid. Very nice. You don't think it ought to be up a bit on the right? No, leave it, leave it. You. Oh, uh, are you Ralph Larkins? Yes. I'm Harry. Go on. Will you tell your missus it's all right for tonight? What's all right for tonight? The band. Band? Our four piece. Me piano, Dave drums, Bernie on the bass and Max on the sax. Round about nine, all right. What is all this? The music for the party, will you tell her? Yeah, I'll tell her all right. Yeah. Oh, uh, 30 bob a piece, okay? 30? Six quid? Oh, I'll tell her right away, mate. Yeah. Hey, no. What's he want for six quid? The Boston Philharmonic? Hey, no. hey! Where's your mother? In the parlour. Why? Is there anything wrong? Joyce, am I an unnatural father? Yeah. Don't I want the very best for Eddie? Wouldn't I? Spend my last penny to bring a smile to that sloppy little face. Why, yes, of course you would. And you can really believe that? Yes. Well, I can't. Well, Joyce. This is it. I'm redundant. <laughs> that was art. That's you right, that for the party. What party? Your party. My party? I'm not giving a party, am I? The party's for you in honour of your homecoming. Oh. Now, isn't that just like Mum? <laughs> Where is she? In the parlour. And mind you thank the property. She's gone to a lot of trouble over this. That doesn't surprise me. That too. That does surprise me. <laughs> and he had just now saying he wanted you to have the best of everything. Eh? And how he'd spend his last penny to bring a smile to your little face. Here, Joyce, are you sure we're talking about the same person? I mean... <laughs> Dad said that? He did. How long's the poor old chap been like this? Oh, really, Eddie, how can you be so ungrateful? He's helping Mum to make this into a really big welcome for you. Yeah, you're right, I'm ungrateful. There's no other word for it. I'm ungrateful. You're just too awkward. They got welcome over the front and you come in the back. Oh, don't, Joyce, you make me see how thoughtless I've been. I didn't realise how much my own coming meant to them. Here, do you know what I'm going to do? What? I'm going to show them I appreciate their kindness and appreciation. I'm going round the front to make a really... Grand entrance. Well, do you think... Not the least I can do, they'll expect you. <laughs> they're in the parlour. I think they're discussing your party. Yeah? Of course, I don't deserve it, you know. Either will you listen to me for one minute? I'm listening, James. Go. Either four-piece bands, banners, all Go this... Go in, then. Look, 
where's the money coming from? That's what I want to know. I've told you it's taken care of. Oh, dear, why do you want to go to all this rigmarole? I cannot imagine. Alf, you're beginning to get on my nerves with all this harping and carping. You was demobbed yourself once, wasn't you? Yes, but I never had any of this nonsense. Oh, I didn't send off at the depot, but... Well, there you are, then. It's all a question of viewpoint. Welcome home, Eddie. You'll go home out. Pass the Ollie. Yeah, well, that's the point, huh? Ollie? What, this time of year? Well, you can't have a do without a bit of Ollie. The florist's got it. Well, where is it? Under the, uh... Ollie. Yeah, that's more expense. Now, will you listen to me, Ada? Did you order the food? Yes, four crates. Now, will you listen to me, Ada? <laughs> Of it. Never mind the Ollie, we'll have the balloons next. Balloons, what are we having here? A carnival. Oh, you left the goldfish then? And why not? Oh, I suppose you couldn't get Esther Williams. <laughs> I don't think you're entering into the spirit of this thing at all. I don't think you realise what it means to have your son come home carrying on about the expense. What's a couple of coppers? A couple of coppers? You want the older Scotland Yard, mate. Here. Yeah. Fetch the rest, I'm not doing a babble job. No. <laughs> oh, sabotage now, eh? Oh, I didn't do it on purpose. You're against this whole thing, that's what you are, aren't you? Oh, I'm not against it at all, it's only that... It's that, only that you're jealous of young Eddie, that's it, isn't it? Jealous, right. Ah, that does it. Now, I've tried to be reasonable about this. Yes, I can see that. Oh, I've stood by while you've gone mad and squandered my money. Whose money? Our money. Whose money? Your money. <laughs> That's better and I'll spend it any way I think fit. I'm thinking of Eddie. Well, so am I thinking of Eddie. I'm home. Yes, you're thinking of Eddie, all right. I know what you're thinking of, you, you walking cash register. Now listen to me, Ada. Have you finished? Hello. Finished? I haven't even started. <laughs> Eddie's my boy. I'm proud of him. I don't begrudge him nothing. And I am not <laughs> jealous. What a sportsman. Venting your spite on a poor little balloon. <laughs> well, you won't wreck Eddie's party that way. Oh, I'm not wrecking his perishing party. I'm home. No, it doesn't look like it, does it? Alf <laughs> Larkins, I wouldn't have believed you could have been that mean. I am not mean. Now, Ada, look. <laughs> All right. All right. If you want total war, you can have it. But Ada. let me tell you this. Eddie has his party if I have to lock you up. Ada. That one. Up there. Go no. on. Crying your eyes out over having a few friends round. A few friends? You've asked off the street. Oh, I'll ask the old street if I want to. Not while I've got my open strength. Oh, to your bath chair. thing is I'm home. Yeah, that reminds me. Uh, Joyce and Jeff. Oh, that's very nice, Eddie. Well, well, what's this? For coming home, President. Oh, Eddie, you shouldn't... Oh, Eddie! Gee, Eddie, thanks. Don't mention it. It's beautiful. Well, mine's not only beautiful, it works. <laughs> they're, they're lovely, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, well, Merch. Yeah. Why am I thinking of this? One for you. Oh, Eddie! Well, Santa Claus in battle dress. Oh, Eddie, it's lovely. Oh, and it's inscripted. <laughs> From Eddie to Merce. Yeah, 
hope I got your name right. I never know whether it's an E or a U. And uh, Myrtle, <laughs> there's something else. Something else, Eddie. After you, madam. Oh, Eddie, I don't understand. Into the dark room and see what develops. <laughs> Joyce, that is terrible. That technique? That joke. <laughs> Did you get that banner up? Yeah, anything wrong? <laughs> Nothing I can't handle. Here, get out of these. Invitation cards? Yes, they printed too many, but as it happens, it's just as well. Now, I'm appointing new publicity manager. Dish them out as far as they'll go. But there's enough here for the whole street. You've got the general idea. I'll let them know who's in charge of catering around here. <laughs> and you better nip up the road and get some more bread. Get ten. No, make it a baker's dozen. Look lively. There's a load more to be done tonight, Chip. Well, okay, Elsa Maxwell, but I hope you know what you're doing. I didn't think the party was going to be that big. Big? This is going to make the guild all look like a picnic lunch. Hey, Dee, welcome on, Mama. Oh, let me look at it. <laughs> I told you, I'm fast for my girl. Haven't you got a watch? Oh, I have now. What were you doing in that broom cupboard? Oh, we're showing her. Showing her what? <laughs> Luminous style. <laughs> of tomato sandwiches. Honestly, I have slit more Redskins than Davy Crockett. <laughs> and the beer's running out. Half the neighborhood stopping my grub and swelling my beer. <laughs> and still they come. Evening? Two and ten, straight on. Is my wife here? Ah, uh, that... Of course she's here. Everybody's here. In there somewhere. It's all right, I'll, I'll find her. I wouldn't bank on it. Come on. I say, what you have to care? Can it murder? And that radiogram? Oh, I'll be glad when they run out of records. Where do you want these? Down the passage, first, last on the right. The coal cellar? He asked me where I wanted him. That's true. Where's the man from the record shop? He's gone down with a slip disc. <laughs> ah. Ourselves. We've got a party on. Oh, you said that. Well, Ada, where's the money coming from for all this? Will you tell me? Look, I've told you it's taken care of. Taken? You ought to be taken care of. A fine party this is. I don't think this. You catering, Jeff waiting, Joyce on the bar, me on the door. I only hope that Eddie's enjoying his party. Now, look, will this be enough sandwiches? Food. Now then, remember the party rule, F.O.B., family holds back. Go on, here you go. I've just about had enough of this. Is you catering for half the neighbourhood? Not that I mind, but I haven't seen anybody I know yet. You're not being very helpful, are you? In fact, you're being downright obstructive. Obst I don't think you've ever heard the word family pride, uh, but I'm very proud of my son. Uh, I'm proud he's home, and I want the whole neighbourhood to know it. Now look, and the bigger the party, the more prouder I am. But, Mum... Eddie, I'm talking. Now listen, I want help, not hindrance. 
one more moan out of you, one more nasty remark, one more sly bit of sabotage, and you and me is going to fall out, and you know who falls the artist. There. Well, at least the gramophone has stopped. Well, we're here. I'll oh. this way. Come right in. Oh. Ah. the band if you want to dance. Oh, I know, there's a rope in the tool shed. Well, all right, hang around if you want to, but remember what I told you, no matter who comes, send them in. Are you <laughs> Eddie, I suppose you know you could have signed on for seven years. I'm sorry, Dad, but you know I didn't want this party. <coughs> oh, that's perfect. It's all I wanted to hear. Right, yeah? Anywhere, away from that, here. Yeah. Take that pinnacle off, you'll be promoted, you're in Dorman. Oh, customers. Entrees. No, they're not sharp, me French. Welcome. And won't you come in? Welcome. Market. Wolves? Well, I'll even bit my finger. Eddie! What is the matter? <laughs> Wait, Cat! Jeff, send him away! Storm him! Don't oh, wait, 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 Live here? Oh, me? Oh, yes, I live here. Uh, but my name's not Larkins, no. My name is Rogers. We're military police. We want Private Larkins, 581. 581. Well, I'm afraid you've got the wrong number. <laughs> Mother, we come inside? Yes, I mean, uh, th there isn't anyone else here just now, only me. All alone, eh? Yes. The solitude must drive you balmy. <laughs> you mean the radiogram. Okay, boys, take five. Uh, you think this could be our bloke? Talk sense, mate. Our bloke's English. Well, he could be putting on that Welsh accent. <laughs> Yucky dog. I'm sorry, we're coming in. I'm afraid that's not possible. You see, we're holding a nice Ted fire. You want to see how to it? By all means. I'll just go and get my reading glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Have they, have they, no! No! I mean, what you have you been looking for? Yes, no. you the one who kept me out of it. Who could have? Hammer it on the door, a liberty taken. Not well, it does it for me. I'll murder the lot. Oh, you must. Oh, murder. Oh, please, you please. Do, please. Do, do you mind? <laughs> Did you ever have the feeling you wasn't wanted? <laughs> Here, Jeff, do you reckon he's on the run? Well, anything less stationary I never saw. Pop, what are we going to do? Well, we've got to keep him out at all costs. We can't have him arrested in front of all the neighbors, I mean, think of what the shame would do to his mother to shock him if my killer. Then what are we going to do? Well, you go upstairs and calm him down. Calm I'll him think down. of something. Go on. Who's that knocking? Can't you answer that door? I don't know. Oh, I see. Strike tactics, eh? You don't understand. I understand, all right. You're trying to save your lockout. All right, all right, I'm coming. Ada, don't do something you might regret for the rest of your life. Too late, I already did it. Oh. I thought so, you and your tricks. These are two of Eddie's army pals. Come right in. <laughs> Larkins, that's right. Go right in, that door there. Go right in, push hard. Oh. <laughs> Ada, they've come for Eddie. Well, of course they've come for Eddie. Go fetch him. But they're in peace. Now, oh. Well, it's our time. Eddie took an interest in politics. <laughs> By your leave! <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Eddie! Come here. Uh, oh, so, what are you... What are you supposed to be, a tortoise or something? 
I can't find... Hello. I can't find Eddie in. Oh, there you are. Have they gone in? Uh, gone in, all right. Yes, they've gone in. And that's where you'll find yourself, inside. Oh, but, Dad, uh, you mean you're going to turn him over? Oh, I'd love to turn him over, but I haven't got time. You've called yourself a soldier. You're a disgrace to the British Army. My stars, you ought to have been in my old life. But, Dad! Now, will you keep quiet while I think of what to do? Not that I've got much choice. You mean... Yeah, it's upstairs into civvies. But, Dad! Get on! And you, you get him over the roof and into the backyard. And then? Well, get him on a banana on a boat or something. Don't expect me to think of everything. It's illegal, isn't it? Only if you're caught. All right? Great. Start as an in-law and end up as an outlaw. Daddy, up. What's going on in here? I hate to think. And this is Eddie's sister. Joyce, he's a two of Eddie's army pal. Pleased to meet you. Where is Eddie? I don't know. Well, it's very rude of him, keeping his friends waiting. I'm having a good time. Why have they got their hats on? Oh, they can't stop. They're on duty. I do think it's nice of you nipping in here while you're on duty. I do hope you won't get into trouble. Madam, but don't are... you worry. If you do, I'll get Eddie to put in a good word for you. Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. He's a good boy, is my Eddie. And if you want to pass his wang, good, he'll do it for you. Look at the lovely watch he bought me today. Oh, and here's Eddie's father. Hey, uh, where's Eddie? Uh, Eddie? Who's Eddie? What do you mean, who's Eddie? Uh, that, that, uh, nobody of that name here. There must be some mistake. Mistake? What twisting you up to? Is this another one of Ada. your tricks? Ada. Not content with sabotaging his party. You know what to deny him. Ada, the, 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 Are you trying to make a fool out of me? No, Ada. The... Who's Eddie? Who got him mobbed this morning? Who bought you that lovely watch what you're wearing and what you don't deserve? Uh, I don't remember. Don't remember. Don't you try and make out to me you've got amnesia. Show me up in front of Eddie's friends. Eddie's friends? They're nobody's friends. They're military policemen. I don't care who they are. Policemen? And they're here on business. Is that right? I'm sorry, yes. Well, I do think that's underhanded. Come sneaking in here, making out your... <laughs> Madam, of all the nasty, mean, round-the-corner tricks. I'm sorry, we don't like doing this. It's our job. Oh, well, never mind about that. What do you want? He knows. Well, he won't get my Eddie. He's gone. Oh, shut up, Alf. It's no good telling now. Is he is Eddie now? Oh, Eddie. It's all right. I'm here. I've decided, decided to face it out. So you're Eddie Larkins? I admit it. Sorry, chum. We seem to support your party. Oh, don't play cat and mouse with him. Get it over. Yeah. I don't know what you want me for. I'm ready. What's the charge? Desertion. Desertion? Yep, in 1919. Come on, Larkins. Alfred, let's be moving. take some getting over and no mistake. After last night, I don't know how we're going to carry on. There's nothing else for it. We shall have to move. Move nothing. Let's start a nuts to the neighbors campaign. Oh, you don't understand, Jeff. This has been a bitter blow to family prestige. What could be more degrading to a family than the humiliation of its chief member? Yes, you're quite right. And don't forget the humiliation to your father, too. <laughs> Eddie, what I still don't understand is why you acted the way you did with a perfectly clear conscience. Oh, I don't know, Jeff. Red caps do that to me. One look, and I feel like cripping. Well, just imagine what Dad must be feeling like. People have been phoning up all morning. A mistake. Yes, a mistake. No, I was not arrested. It... Huh? How do I know what happened? Records must have slipped up or something. Yes, everything's all right now. <coughs> well, I'm not in prison, am I? Oh, I'm very sorry if it's spoiled your morning. Goodbye. That's the ninth. The old neighbourhood seems to think I'm a criminal. Well, you must admit, Alf, you gave them every cause. It, now, look, Ada, don't you start. The army don't want me for nothing. They made a mistake. They, 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 they admitted it. They even apologised. They behaved most handsome over the old business. Well, I wonder they didn't offer you your old job back. Yeah, and don't you think they wouldn't? So I could go back to the army any time I wanted, you know. They, they jump at me. They just did. Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, let me tell you, with my old army record, I wouldn't have to fill out any of these enlistment forms, you know. I'll just pick up that telephone and ring all the shots. Well, I hope that gives you a nice, warm glow inside. For my part, out of know how I'm going to face the neighbours. And I don't know how the neighbours are going to face you. What do you mean? Well, I'd be going through the bills, and believe me, that party last night cost you plenty. How much? Well, I'm no accountant, but I make it to be about 48 pounds, 9 shillings, and tuppence three farthings. What? Oh, yes, of course, we had extra bread. <laughs> Four, six, four, fifty quid. Well, that's one pound, ten shillings, and nine pence farthing. Look, Alf, I've told you, it's taken care of. Hey, that, that's the last time you're saying that to me. Where are we going to get the money to pay for all this? And I've got a right to know. Oh, do leave all that. You're talking like East Lynn. I've told you, it's taken care of. There. Insurance? Now, if that's what I think it is, I'll tell you all straight that I'm not dropping dead for nobody. <laughs> he said his endowment policy's just come up. Here, let's have a look. I've been paying that for years. It's just come up at the right time. You don't think I'd be fool enough to run up bills I couldn't pay, do you? Oh, I'm sorry, girl. Yeah, well... Yeah, Jeff, how much is 38 and 21? Uh, 59. 1959. Oh. oh, my God. Let me look at that. <laughs> oh, you made some little miscalculation? No. It just means waiting a bit longer, that's all. And in the meantime, Alf, if you could lend me £48 line of taxi... Alf, where are you going? Get me over the shots. 